I'm Dean with Dean's Drywall Tips and Tricks. We're here at the second stage. Uh, yesterday we cut out this uh, water damage on this uh, butt seam. There's two butt seams here that I'm working on. And it was quite damp in there, so we put the blower on it and it's uh, dried up really, really nicely. Everything's really nice and dry here now. As you see, I put some screws here and I went quite liberally with the screws. I went to pretty close with some places because once you get water damage, the, the filler gets ruined, as you saw yesterday when we scraped it out, a lot of it came out. But the, uh, the drywall loses a lot of its integrity as well. The gypsum board starts to get softened up and it never is as dense or strong as the original sheet. So uh, I put a few extra screws and now everything's good and solid and tight there now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pre-bed this. And the idea with the pre-bedding now is just to give it a thin skin, skim coat. Get everything coated once with the pre-bed and seal up what's here because uh, as you see I've cleaned it up pretty good but it's chalky uh, it loses some of its properties and I could you could keep wiping and wiping and wiping and it'll just continually keep getting chalky and stuff so we want to get a skim coat over top of it get that sealed up and then we got a base to build from here again I'm using the uh, sheetrock 45 this is with the pre bonding and you got up to 45 minutes. I could use a sheetrock 15 or uh, 20 if I had it, but I just didn't have any at the time. This is one of these projects now that if I uh, get the pre-bed on here, put my blower on it, dry it up, I could uh, second, third finish coat this within a couple hours. I could have this all painted and finished by today. This is a uh, retail outlet here. We're in a, one of the businesses. And as you see, we get the sun coming up in the east here in the morning and it's very well lit up and stuff and uh, this is a ceiling that shows up every little imperfection so we have to do a really really good job on this one of the tricks too folks you got to realize when you're doing water damage is it's got to be dry you got to dry it out if you ever open up a, a damaged spot a repair job and it's damp try and dry it out if you can if it doesn't dry out then there's other issues behind the drywall that you have to open up and explore because you cannot start to repair it until it's dry and stop the moisture from coming through so everything here we know what the problem was there's a fan up on the roof that blew off the water came in but we got it sealed up and fixed there right now but uh, if you don't know what the problem was, you got to keep going until you find it. Now, luckily enough, it did some damage here, but the, the fiber tape, we used fiber tape on the joint, and the fiber tape's still there. Everything's still nice and fine. What it is is the finished coat filler, which is water-based, uh, got saturated, and a lot of it came off. But uh, we don't have to ta tape this, so that it's going to be a fairly easy, easy skim job, I think. Uh, as you saw there, you know, you can still go along the edges and chip a little bit off. So we're going to give it a skim. And after the skim is put on, you might be, there might be the odd place where you'll see a little bit of a pucker or feather. And before you do the second coat, we just go along and, and scrape that off as well. So we're going to hit this now with some pre bang. But this is fairly flat. It's, uh, it's concave there. Just a nice little, uh, you can see the light coming through it. So that's, that's how you test sometimes. You just got to test and see what, what you have to work with. So everything's recessed there a little bit, which is perfect. It's, it's going to be an easy job. And if you see my 14-inch uh, flat trowel, reaches both edges on some of the parts. So it's just I'm just going to skim it and ream it out and try and get the one coat over top of everything. And that's all we're going to do for now.
There we go. We got a skim on that. Nothing fancy right now. It's just good and tight. You don't you don't want to cake it on. Just a nice thin coat. Okay, so here's the second seam, our damage seam, the uh, butt seam. But we're going to do the same thing here again. I built it up, uh, added uh, quite a few extra screws, got this seam nice and secure and tight, and wiped her down. Everything's good and clean. I'm happy with this. Now I'm just going to try and get a uh, just a light skim coat on this. Almost like hardening, hardening plaster, concrete. That's all she's going to get for now. 